Guys, we're in the center of Moscow in Chinatown. Now, funnily enough, there are no Chinese in Chinatown, even though there are Chinese in Moscow, of course. But today we're not going to talk about that. We are going to be shooting some very legendary Soviet pistols. And we're going to be doing that in the top tier Moscow firing clubs fire line. Let's get to it. We've got all the Soviet classics right here and this is the legendary Tokarev pistol firing the 762 by 25 millimeter Tokarev round and then we've got the Pistolet Makara which was designed to fix all the issues of the Tokarev. This is a 9 millimeter. Then we've got the elusive Stichkin, also a 9 millimeter. All amazing weapons and I'm going to test them all. with the Tokarev pistol developed in 1930 for the Soviet Army Soviet Union's first semi-automatic pistol now let's rock and roll <sighs> very very nice feeling I thought it was gonna be louder but uh, this wasn't, maybe because I'm wearing headphones, but uh, it felt really good. Well, I was expecting more recoil from this gun, but I didn't feel that much recoil, to be honest. But now, let me empty this magazine. Honestly, this pistol is amazing the energy from this pistol the grip is a bit small for my hand the trigger feels a bit strong it's not the lightest trigger that I've fired um, but otherwise I think it's a very very powerful weapon This is the Makarov pistol based on James Bond's Walter PPK and right now I'm gonna test, test it out and see how much better it actually is. It's a bit of a hassle loading the magazine because I mean it's not the regular magazine, this is a modification. But um, with enough practice you can load just about anything. Great feeling. Yeah. This is a 9 by 18 millimeter pistol and it's a very powerful round. The grip is big enough for my hand, I think, but I still would have liked a bigger grip. But then it would defeat the purpose of a small firearm if you could have a bigger grip. But all in all, a very well rounded weapon. Sure, sure, no, no, no. Вот отсюда прям, да. Да. Это прям сложно. Это тяжело. Да. So where did I go wrong here? Uh, you need a push trigger very slow and soft. Right. Slowly and soft. Your finger harder push the trigger. Right. Relax right hand and only one finger slowly and soft. Take. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Harder. Yes. Slowly and soft. Slowly, slowly. Yes. Slowly. After changing my firing style, just 
pushing the tip of my finger very slowly and very smoothly, I was able to get a lot more shots on my target. But I still like the Tokarev better. I don't know why, just the feeling of the Tokarev, its smoothness, its lightness, it, it just gave me a better feeling in my hand. Um, otherwise, this is the Baikal modification of the Makarov pistol. The, the difference being that it has a bigger grip, which for me is actually a good thing because of my hand. And um, all in all, a very well-rounded weapon. And lastly, the Stechkin machine pistol. Developed in 1951 for all the servicemen who couldn't carry assault rifles in the field of duty because they were pilots, tankists, grenadiers, or high-ranking officials. This pistol was later adopted for the military intelligence. And now, let's see how it fires. This is a very sturdy weapon. I got a really good feeling from this because it has a bigger grip. It's a bigger weapon in general. That's why for my hand, it was very stable. Now, time to empty the magazine. A very sturdy pistol. I really like the feeling of the Stechkin machine pistol because it has a big grip. Finally, a pistol that can fit my hand and shoot very good. Now, it was a very interesting experience firing all these famous Soviet pistols. But for me, my favorite pistol was the Tete because it's light, it's very fun to shoot. Makara was a bit too small for my hand. The grip wasn't big enough, I couldn't really balance it in my hand, but I think for people with smaller hands, it would be perfect. And then the Stechkin being a very elusive, a very legendary Soviet weapon, it was a great experience to fire it. It's a balanced weapon. It has a slight recoil, but otherwise it fit my hand beautifully and I would love to shoot it again, especially in the full auto mode once I get my hands on it.